It is horrible out. Alright, what's up everyone? Welcome back for another video. Thanks for joining me again. And uh, you just gotta mind that that noise. It's a heater. I have a little propane heater going. That thing. Right there. So today, good news finally. I have this uh, very rare part for the Colorado ZR2. Um, showed you at the beginning of the video. Um, if you're here for the 190E content, if you're already if you're subscribed from the last video, uh, that content's coming up. But uh, as you saw the weather outside, can't really get the other car out right now to make room to work on the car. So we're just gonna run with it right now. We're gonna do this unboxing video of this super rare part once again. Then maybe the next one might be an install video of that part. If I could, and if I could make some room, I'm um, gonna continue on this body kit. So, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that little alert, that little alert, that little alert bell, with, so you know when the videos, when I when I post a video, because I do do it at random at this time, because this time of year it's kind of hard to film and then edit and between work and coldness and motivation and all that stuff. So I'm gonna get this unboxing video out of the way, and we're probably gonna install it on the truck. Hopefully, it's a little bit warmer this week at some point, and I could do it. Uh, I wanted to do it in the garage, but once again, you saw that big ass snow pile behind the truck that's blocking the 240 in here, so I can't get the 240 out. Um, 190E's on jack stands right now, which I can undo that, but whatever. So, cross your fingers out, it gets warmer for me. Let me shut up and show you what parts this is. What you're thinking this part's not that rare kind of is uh, let's get over let's go over some of the rareness I guess of it so if you go on the website I order it through peak suspension the bottom of the page for this this is this is only the front suspension by the way you go to order it, you go to the bottom and it says three to five week wait time they build these to order no big deal three to five weeks not a big deal I've waited longer waiting for coilovers for my car well maybe not this one but the WRX when I had one so, problem with this, uh, you know, the whole thing going on, going on right now, this whole pandemic. Uh, King suspension, from my understanding, they're from California, and they're very short-staffed in the first place. So, California, all the shutdowns and whatnot, short-staffed, distancing, blah, blah, blah. This is where we're at. So, I ordered these September 27th, and I got these two days ago. Now, let's see here. One, two, three, four... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 weeks. So this took 18 weeks to get, and I heard if you order, there's even longer, even longer of a back order at this point, so that's why I'm saying these are rare parts. If you're even considering getting these for your truck, just order them now, and by the time you're like, hey, I do want these, they'll be on the way already. So let's get to unboxing these things and talk about some of the specs, I guess. I'm gonna do my best to film it here um, on the workbench. Uh, if, it's a, if it's a horrible angle, maybe we'll just do it on the floor, but let's try this. Oh, God. So real quick, these are the 600 pound springs and it's for the extend, extended, I don't know if that's the, length that it goes is extended. Um, you do need upper control arms if you're gonna do the extended. If not, you just gotta go regular, so. decided to unbox both of them so let's take a look what's in the packaging and then we'll end this one let's look so these are left and right they're labeled um they are labeled left and right so you got to make sure they're size specific no big deal fully threaded up until there for height adjustments external reservoirs um, all the hardware you're gonna need is these are the brackets that are going to hold the reservoirs on so that it goes on the shop, top of the shock tower. 
those hold this on to that bracket and these guys this is for the sway bar i guess it drops the sway bar down a little bit i don't know the specific reason to drop the sway bar down but they give you that it's in the instructions um also there's instructions um instructions on how to install instructions on how to adjust the height so it says for these you have to take them off the truck to adjust the height and you're supposed to actually put them in a some sort of a spring compressor i don't have the one that's in the picture like a heavy duty one but i do have a spring compressor that might help so we'll see when that time comes so i'm gonna have to install them on the truck check the height then possibly take them off to adjust it uh, i do want the truck level so that's going to be one thing uh, this tool goes in here and that's what you use to turn it left and right to raise or lower it not too bad pretty good quality looks pretty pretty awesome and these colors look really awesome that's it these are the kinks actually pretty heavy Okay, let me get that down before I drop it. Oh. So that's it. Thanks for joining me. That's the King's front suspension for the Colorado ZR2. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see how to install these because I will be filming that and we'll see how it looks afterwards. I'll mention it again in the install video, but after you do suspension work like this, you need to get an alignment. So let's, uh, so after it gets warm, I'm going to get the truck aligned for the new suspension, but I'm going to put in the extra effort to get it nice and level because I want to make sure it's level. I just want to make sure it's level because I, I personally like the way that looks. I know some people like the, the raked look, but I want it level. Actually looking forward to installing these things. So if you made it this far in the video, thank you. And you may also be thinking, why are you upgrading? Um, I do have the Peak Suspension Coilover Kit on the truck right now. But one of my front, my front passenger side shock is leaking. The DSSV Multimatic thing is leaking. Um, since I have the lift on it, I assume I wouldn't be able to get a warranty fix on it. So I just decided, let me just upgrade now, since I'm planning on keeping the truck for a while. Upgrade to the best that you could get, I guess. These are supposed to be the best you could get. So let me just upgrade it now. That's it, so I never have to worry about it again. So that's that. Once again, I want to thank you guys for joining me. Hit that subscribe button. We will be installing these very soon, hopefully this week, because weather permitting, we will install it this week. Get the truck nice and level, it'll be looking awesome. Thanks for joining me. Subscribe, hit that alert bell, leave some comments down below and I will try to respond to them. And see you on the next one. Peace.